On the heels of the NICA Act being signed into law, people on the streets did not wait to make their reactions known. This law conditions the government of Nicaragua into getting U.S. approval for any loan it seeks to make with international institutions. Why must the United States interfere like this? Why do they have to hurt us like this? Do they care so much about what we do and how we do it? I get up at 4 a.m. and wonder how am I going to pay for my bills. I'm haunted by all the issues I have to deal with. And despite the political crisis, this year has actually been good for me in comparison to other years. I don't know who those who agree with these sanctions are, but they can be Nicaraguan. They are traitors. The NICA Act was pushed forward by Cuban-American members of the United States Congress. It was first brought forth in 2016, and it received the support of the Nicaraguan opposition, who were also allegedly behind recent coup attempts in the country. This new law could seriously affect lives of everyday citizens. We only want to live in peace. The past few months have been peaceful. Thankfully, earlier this year, we were living through an unbelievable violence. You couldn't leave home. We are close to Christmas. We want to celebrate. I hope things improve. We have faith in the government. We believe they will find a way to solve these issues. Experts agree the signing of the NICA Act into law was expected and have said it will lead to negative effects in Nicaragua. Nonetheless, they believe the Sandinista government is ready to face the new attack. The only real limitation I can see with this law is in regards to the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. But they won't get the last word. The opposition doesn't even have 50 percent of the votes to stop the government. Those traitors, they have always been linked to easy money, to political money. They see themselves trapped. So we should have expected they would do something like this. Over the next few days, an official reaction is expected from the government in regards to this new imperialist aggression.